40 Commando Royal Marines training out in the field, but sometimes it's what goes on behind the scenes that can ensure the Marines remain an elite fighting force. Which means when they wanted bespoke helmet-mounted cameras, the Navy's innovation team got to work. So as part of the, uh, the, the development work we, we, we're undertaking, we needed to provide situational awareness and a, and a video capability to allow commanders to see images from the front line to aid decision support and, and tactical uh, decision making. There's a little bit of engineering work left to do. How do we integrate it uh, properly onto, onto the helmet uh, and into our, our network architecture? And then this will be heading its way up to 40 Commando at uh, Norton Manor Camp in Taunton for them to really put the capability through its paces. This footage was captured by a body-worn camera. It's the kind of data and technology that can be harnessed and used. What we want to be able to do is match what's happening on the screen for situational awareness purposes to a map. Um, so this happens to be a helmet cam feed. However, this could be a feed from a drone, it could be static cameras, it could be anything. The, the clever bit is not so much the, the camera on the helmet, it's how you move that data around the network so people can see it at different levels. Um, effectively, you could have a guy kicking down a door and then someone in the UK watching them kicking down the door. So some video footage is relevant in the immediate space. Some of it is relevant back in the UK on a strategic level. The team is a mix of former and serving military personnel, which means when ideas for new kit are put forward, there's the right mix of knowledge and expertise. I've used a lot of the equipment. I know what is good and what is bad. You kind of you've you've got a list. You've got that's experience, isn't it? You've got that experience. You can then apply that to a, a new project for, say, future commando force. What you think would be beneficial, so you can take the good parts of your experience and put that forward. And then, you know, bits that haven't gone quite so well or um, that haven't been great, and there's a better way of doing it. And you can think of a better way of doing it, or you've got an idea. You can put that forward. Then collaborate as a team. So. As Royal Marines Information Systems down here, and as engineers, we can go with we can work with Marworks, put it all together, put it down on paper, and and try these things and put them out to test. Working out of unassuming offices, what goes on here is vital to future-proof the Navy. Historically, we've been the, really been late adopters of technology. Our, our process for procurement and, and development of products really works very well for a tank or a ship or an aircraft, but for rapidly moving technology such as capabilities like this, such as uh, the development of uh, mobile uh, infrastructure and, and tactical radios, we really need to be quicker and better at adopting these new technologies, fit them into the battle space to give us that uh, information advantage. There are always new ideas being tested and projects in the pipeline, so the Navy and future commando force can grow and adapt moving forward. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.